he doted on his children. That he would die to protect me was plain. It was but a matter of when. You planned this? You did well to endure so long. But you broke in the end, as I knew you would. And now Muthos approaches. Put him to the proof. I would see if he breaks. Go, Bahamut. Kin Slayer. Stay here, mother. Come. Take my hand. Mother. Consciousness that weaves your wills together. Consciousness that blurs the boundary between your own will and that of others. Then we shall set you apart once more. The ties that bind you shall be severed and humanity return to its proper place. By primogenesis shall a new age of reason begin. Relax, your majesty. Don't you want to play? It's been a long time. 
If that is your wish... Men, you are as meek as all the others. Such feeble creatures. Gifted the power of icons, yet slaves to fickle emotions which usher you to your doom. And so you bind your fragile worlds with strands of consciousness. The wretched handiwork of a wretched people. The sons of fire were united at last, and for but a moment, their flame burned bright. Soon, Muthos shall become our perfect vessel. And then shall the world be remade. Not before the bonds are severed. Of trust, of respect, of love. Only when every strand of consciousness is cut away, may Muthos return to our side. By primogenesis shall all be undone. Mankind shall be rid of his wretchedness and Muthos of his will. But while he yet clings to it, he has the power to forge bonds anew. And so we bid you. Find Muthos and sever everyone. To destroy that which has no physical form. You ask the impossible. There is nothing your black blade cannot cut, Odin. We shall unite with Muthos and bring forth a new world. So long as our vessel remains unclaimed by humanity. It shall be done, Master. My will is yours. How is your brother? Asleep, since I returned from the Dominion. Tyre says he should be back on his feet soon enough. For a while, at least. She discovered something on his chest. A swelling, circled in stone. The curse. For every mountain we climb, another arises up to greet us, doesn't it? It's never ending. Even the sky seems to have grown tired of it all.
be happy if I disturb Joshua. While he rests, I might as well see what Otto has to say. See the pair that got pulled into time. Still alive, are ya? If you're gonna buy some, be quick about it. the realm the realm oh she's just fine as long as you look past the fact storms out mother crystals and her skies are a roiling cesspit and gav he's with your uncle in the free cities helping mid with her project 
Sent an owl their way the moment the winds turned foul. Still waiting on a reply, though. Do you have any good news? Well, that depends on your definition of good. All right, fine. What do you suggest we do? Oh, no, I'm just the messenger. I'll leave the scheme into those more suited to the task. Could be that Lady Vivian and Old Tomes have their own thoughts on the current state of things. Could be that they don't. It certainly can't hurt to ask. I suppose not. How may I help you today, Clive? Come to claim your just desserts? Come again, I may have more for you. How is it that every one of your little excursions presages some inexplicable catastrophe? Not that you are to blame for the Dominion's fate. No one could have predicted the actions of the Crown Prince. I'm sorry I couldn't save your home. My countrymen are stronger than you think. A few toppled clock towers won't break their spirits. They'll be back on their feet in no time. I hope so. <laughs> Look at us. Bluer than a pair of bog crabs. Tempting though it may be, sulking will not help us find a solution to this mess. You believe there's one to be found? I don't know. But I am certain we're more likely to find it if we first examine the facts. Beneath these darkened skies, fear and confusion reign over Valisthea. Oh, the lands around the fallen Mother Crystals had already begun to wilt for want of ether. But not like this. Crystals that filled wells and fueled furnaces. Now nothing but pretty shards of rock. And those that hang from the people's necks cast nary a glimmer of light to keep the dark at bay. It is only a matter of time before the common folk convince themselves that the end of days is upon us. Yet I fear a swift end is more than we can hope for. While most of the world thirsts for ether, the remainder drowns in it, spawning Akashic in droves. And amidst the hordes of mindless beasts, with magics as like to fail as function, even the strongest nation would falter. Rosaria and the Iron Kingdom teeter on the brink of collapse, while the tragedy in Twinside has all but paralyzed the Holy Empire. Dalmechia fares little better, Rumor has it, the ministers fled the capital after the fall of Drake's Fang, leaving their beloved Republic to crumble. Walud, meanwhile, moves in earnest. The Einherjar has been sighted off storm. The world, in short, is in chaos. It would seem our civilization was nothing but a castle of sand to be washed away at the whim of the waves. A castle of sand. Not my best flourish, but it seemed fitting. The reports I've received are considerably more blunt in their appraisal. Without the protection of their nations, it will fall to the people to defend themselves against those who would take what is theirs. Which is only ever going to end one way. Defending a farmhouse against a band of chocobo thieves is one thing. But pitchforks and palisades will do little to stall an army's advance. Should the King of Wulu deign to invade, there would be none to stop him. Hmm. None but us.
me guess. You're here about the skies. Is there anything you don't know, Lawsman? <laughs> it doesn't take a court astrologer to argue the obvious. As for what has disturbed the heavens, that, I believe, is a question the Fallen might be better placed to answer than I. And on the sixth day, did the gods tear the sun from the firmament, visiting darkness upon their prideful sons and daughters? But I dare say you remember your childhood lessons on the sins of Zemeckis only too well. You think they're connected? That Ultima was one of the gods responsible? Well, he has certainly exhibited powers that we mortals would associate with the Divine. There is nothing divine about him. Ah. <sighs> but he wouldn't be the first god of whom that could be said, now would he? <sighs> Yet for all the fairy tales that tell of the sins, there is almost nothing in the way of actual historical accounts. Had I the journal of Moss the Chronicler, I may have been able to tell you more, but alas, I fear all remaining copies have been lost to time. You will forgive me, I hope? Certainly not. Because there is nothing to forgive. Even without this journal, you've provided us ample wisdom. And we will always be grateful for it. Perhaps Otto will be more inclined to share his thoughts when he hears what the others had to say. arrive while you were at the shelves. Martha's got a cashier at her gates, and talk of monsters roaming the hills outside of Northreach has put the wind up Isabel and her lot. And don't forget Dalamil. Lubor says the village was raided by bandits. When it rains... It fucking pours. The curse breakers are spread thin, taking stock of the damage in the Dominion. And even if I could get word to all of them, I doubt they'd get here in time to make any real difference. Which means... There's only two people who can. Jill and I. Let them know we're on our way. <laughs> 